find the cross product A cross B and verify that it is orthogonal to both A and B. Our two vectors here are 6, 0, negative 2, that's the vector A, and B is 0, 8, 0. And so the easiest way to find A cross B is to take the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix where the first row consists of the standard basis vectors i, j, and k. The second row consists of our first vector, in this case a, and the third row consists of the components of our second vector, in this case b, 0, 8, and 0. To take the determinant of a 3 by 3, we can go along the first row and take the first entry in that first row, i, and multiply that by the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix that's left after we block out the row and column that i is in, that's that lower right 2 by 2. So we'll take i times the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix 0, negative 2, 8, 0. And then we'll take the opposite of the entry in the second column, first row, so minus j, times the determinant of the 2 by 2 matrix that we get if we block out the row and column of j. That's going to be 6, negative 2 in the first row, and 0, 0 in the second row, and then plus the standard basis vector k, that's our entry in the first row, third column, times the determinant of the 2 by 2 that we get if we block out the row and column that k is in. That's the lower left 2 by 2 matrix. The determinant of that, then, is the determinant of 6, 0, 0, 8. So this is equal to i times, well, taking the determinant of this 2 by 2, we take the product of the main diagonal minus the product of the off diagonal. That's 0 minus a minus 16 minus j times, 6 times 0 is 0, minus 0 times negative 2, which is 0, plus k times, 6 times 8 is 48, minus 0. So our vector is, negative negative is a positive 16 times i, plus 0j, so no second component, plus 48k. So 16i plus 48k, or if you like, in component form, we can write that as 16, 0, 48. I should say, we don't have no second component, we just have a second component of 0. Now we want to show that this vector a cross b is orthogonal to both a and b. So let's start by taking a cross b and dotting it with the vector a. Remember that two vectors are orthogonal if and only if their dot product is 0. So if we take 16, 0, negative 48 and dot it with a, which is 6, 0, negative 2, we get 6 times 16, which is 96, plus 0 times 0, and then plus negative, well, let's see, that's not negative 48, is it? That's a positive 48, the third component of a cross b. I was afraid we made a mistake there, and we did. 48 times negative 2, that's a negative 96. Yeah, now we add up to be equal to 0. So a cross b is orthogonal to a. Again, because their dot product was 0. Let's check a cross b and b. So we'll take the dot product of a cross b and the vector b. So that's 16, 0, positive 48, dotted with 0, 8, 0. I can see already we're going to be in business here. 16 times 0 is 0, plus 0 times 8 is 0, plus the product of the third components, 48 and 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 is all 0. So since the dot product is 0, a cross b is orthogonal to b as well.